water, ocean floor relief. Have you ever wondered how the ocean would look without all that water? How it would look if it were just dry land? Well, if you are standing on the shore watching the sandy beach disappear beneath the waves, you may think that it is probably like a big sandy desert. It's not. The ocean floor is as varied and irregular as the land we can see. It has mountains and plains and valleys and ridges and volcanoes and just about any other land feature you could name. Surrounding nearly all continents is a shallow extension of that landmass known as the continental shelf. This shelf is quite shallow and is actually the shallowest part of the ocean floor. It is about 180 meters to 200 meters deep and slopes down differently in different areas. In some places it is quite narrow and in some places it goes on for several kilometers. Can you see in the picture? The continental shelf is an important part of the ocean for humans. The continental shelf regions also contain the highest amount of benthic life, plants and animals that live on the ocean floor. Most commercial exploitation from the sea, mineral oil, petroleum, natural gas and fishing takes place on the continental shelf. You can see the global continental shelf highlighted in the cyan color. At the edge of the continental shelf, the ocean floor drops off in a steep incline called the continental slope. The continental slope ranges from 180 meters to 3600 meters deep. In some places, the depth may be even more. The continental slope marks the true edge of the continent, where the rock that makes up the continent stops and the rock of the ocean floor begins. The continental slope connects the continental shelf and the oceanic crust. The continental slope, which is still considered part of the continent together with the continental shelf is called the continental margin. Past the continental slope, we find the continental rise. As currents flow along the continental shelf and down the continental slope, they pick up and carry sediments along and deposit them just below the continental slope. These sediments accumulate, that is, gather to form the large gentle slope of the continental rise. The flat or very gently sloping areas of the deep ocean basin floor are called the abyssal plains. They are among the Earth's flattest and smoothest regions and the least explored. Movement of the plates You know that plates can move in different ways. They can move towards each other. They can move away from each other. They can slide against each other. Oceanic trenches the oceanic trenches are the deepest parts of the ocean floor. Oceanic trenches are formed at places where the plates move towards each other. When two plates move towards each other, the heavier plate slips 
under the other plate. The plate which slips below the other plate folds and forms a deep trench. The deepest point on the ocean floor is the Challenger Deep, which is a part of the Mariana Trench. It is located 36,070 feet below the ocean surface. Volcanic Islands You already know everything about volcanoes. So, what are volcanic islands? Volcanic islands are formed from volcanoes erupting on the ocean floor. The magma rises from the mantle and erupts through the Earth's crust. Remember the Earth's crust? It is made up of the oceanic crust and the continental crust. The magma either flows on the continental crust or the oceanic crust. The eruption deposits large amount of lava on the ocean floor. Over time, the lava builds up above the sea level and we can see part of the volcano above the sea or the ocean. The part of the volcano visible above the sea level is the volcanic island and it looks like this. The Sumatra island in Indonesia is the largest volcanic island in the world. Many people visit this island for its serene beauty. Ridge There are huge mountains on the ocean floor. The ridge is an underwater chain of mountains. Let us see how a ridge is formed. Ridges are formed where the plates move away from each other. When the plates move apart, molten rock comes up to fill in the gap. In fact, the molten magma pushes the plate upwards, forming a raised area just like a mountain. Mid-Oceanic Ridge In the world map given below, the green line marks the places where the plates move away from each other. So, the green lines are the places where the ridges form. Mid-Oceanic Ridge If you observe carefully, the green line is continuous and only breaks near South America. The ridges on the ocean floor are connected and form a continuous underwater mountain chain. This mountain chain is known as the Mid-Oceanic Ridge. Think and discuss. Explain the terms Continental Shelf, Continental Slope. Explain the terms Continental Rise, Abyssal Plains. How are Oceanic Trenches formed? How are volcanic islands formed? How are underwater ridges formed?